Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss an update. Today, we're diving into one of the most exciting and potentially rewarding financial activities trading stocks. 1. So, what exactly is stock trading? In simple terms, when you trade stocks, you're buying and selling shares of companies. A share represents a tiny piece of ownership in a company. And as the company's value changes, the price of its shares goes up or down. The goal, buy low and sell high to make a profit. 2. Now, let's talk about getting started. The first thing you need is a brokerage account. A brokerage is a platform where you can buy and sell stocks. Think of it like a middleman between you and the stock market. There are plenty of options out there, like mentioned popular brokers, and most of them are beginner friendly with low fees. Once you've opened an account, it's time to fund it. Decide on how much money you're willing to invest. Remember, only use money that you can afford to lose, especially in the beginning. 3. Before you make your first trade, you need to educate yourself. Start by understanding basic stock market concepts like what stocks, ETFs, and indices are. Read books, take online courses, and watch tutorials. Knowledge is your best tool. Also, keep up with financial news, understanding the market environment, and knowing what influences stock prices will help you make better trading decisions. 4. Now comes the exciting part choosing your first stock. Start by looking at companies you already know and believe in. Analyze their financial health, check their earnings reports, and understand their business model. Look for stocks with strong fundamentals and growth potential. Also, don't forget to diversify. Instead of putting all your money into one stock, spread it out over a few different ones. This helps manage risk. 5. Once you've done your research and chosen your stocks, it's time to place your first trade. On your brokerage platform, you'll see options like market order and limit order. A market order buys the stock immediately at the current price, while a limit order lets you set the price you're willing to pay. Choose wisely. 6. After buying your stocks, it's important to monitor your investments. But don't panic if prices fluctuate it's normal. Stay focused on your long-term goals and avoid making impulsive decisions based on short-term market movements. 7. Finally, remember that trading is a continuous learning process. Markets are dynamic and strategies evolve. Keep educating yourself and be patient. Success in trading doesn't come overnight, but with persistence and discipline, you can achieve your financial goals. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Have any questions or topics you want covered? Drop them in the comments below. And as always, happy trading!